Yo, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Gym at Full Grip Games. We have got a super exciting tabletop gym leader challenge match for you all today where I'm going to be playing my darkness type deck featuring Galarian Weezing against Jesse Parker with his white Kyurem water type deck. Now, if you're new to gym leader challenge format, don't sweat it. The rules are really simple and it's a lot of fun to get into. It's never been a better time to learn gym leader challenge. There's just a couple things to keep in mind when getting started. First of all, it's kind of like Magic the Gathering's commander format and then it's a singleton format so you can only play one of each card except basic energy in your deck. Next it's a mono type format so you have to pick your favorite type of Pokemon whether it's water or fire or lightning or grass and then build your entire deck around those type of Pokemon just like you would if you were a gym leader. And then finally, there are no rule box Pokemon allowed in Gym Leader Challenge format. So no Pokemon VMAX or Tag Team Pokemon GX or anything like that. And the results are a ton of fun. I definitely recommend trying out Gym Leader Challenge format. If you haven't already, you can check out all the rules on GymLeaderChallenge.com. And if you're looking for other players to play against in Gym Leader Challenge format, you can join the Tricky Gym Discord and join in on the discussion today. Now check out these two decks in action and let me know what you think of Jesse's water type deck and my darkness type deck in the comments below. We've tried to make the dark deck as consistent as possible. I feel right? like that's where the dark deck can falter is, is the consistency. So It is. So, But with the Lipard on the horizon, it's like, okay, help is coming. This is exciting. Uh, I think that there's some cool things that uh, that we can do. Yeah. So, oof, picking my... And the list. only change I made to this list was I took out my Pukumuku and put in Gloria, the new uh, Bridget-style card. Search for three non-rulebox Pokemon. Gloria so is so good. Okay. I'll take my Mully. Yep. All right, All right. Good luck, Jesse. You as well. Although I do kind of wish it was a um, Pukumuku right now because I started it, so I could have just have it in the active right now. But that's fine. I mean... They all both basically a comp. It does get an extra thing. Puku only grabs two. Glory grabs three. So, um, I think I'm just going to attach the water to Whalmer and pass to you. Draw for turn. And Floatstone on the Sneasel. Zubat down. <laughs> and end. I know. You're like... Dang it. My hand was great. Had the I Gloria. Had Gloria and Sonya, so I was like, I was big chilling on. Uh... I'm going for game, man. What? I'm going for game, bro. Game? I'm going for donk, yeah. Wait, what can you donk Hoopa, me with? Hoopa, Dark Claw, Energy. Oh, give me a break. That ain't going to happen. Bro, I've got Dark Claw and Muscle Band in here. You're a hater. Nope. Not and happen. Devoured uh, Field. Those are three different boosts in this deck that can get oh, me wow. the. That's, so all I have to do nah, it's not gonna happen, is nah. find Hoopa Dark and then one of those three boosts. No chance. Yeah, that is a three-card combo. <laughs> Jesse's like, uh, man, how Whalemore is a big boy. He's not supposed to get one shot. <laughs> oh, turn one. Yeah, what the heck? Like, he's a hundred HP, like little whale guy. How could you? There we go. All right, six cards. Yeah, I'll, I'll have you know I was one card off. <laughs> well, you don't got it, so... You are correct. I do not have it, but I will have you know. We're going to Nest Ball, and Nest Ball is going to get me... Oh, I'd this been, is going to be insane. I'd have been so uh, salty if you did get it. <laughs> I'm considering this play. You're going to be so sick. <laughs> what? What are you going to do? It's what the first turn. <laughs> You're going to be so sick, bro. <laughs> I'm going to be... You realize I'm going to be homeless if you win this game, right? I'm going to... I bet all my points on this game. Yeah, you're going to be so sick. I'm considering going for the Nicket, bro. Just a three. What is that? I oh, could, my <laughs> word. Wait, is that three? You get three cards if I... Whatever, do it. I'm going to draw out of it. <laughs> no, you won't. All right, all right. No, no, no. We're going for something better. We're going for something better. All right. Nicket. We're going to go... This guy's got Nicket. This guy's got naked. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to go for the turn one wheezing. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, this broken. Okay. Oh, okay, that seems pretty good. And then uh, I'm going to do Professor's Letter. And uh, no, I'm not playing the uh, 
I'm not playing the. If I was playing Zigzagoon in the list, I also had it. But no, I'm not playing Zigzagoon. Oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not playing the Obstagoon wow. in here. Yeah, Sometimes no. I forget who, but does a little more than Zapdos. Yeah, it does 90. All right, we're going to retreat into coughing, and then uh, I've got a pretty good hand for next turn. We're just going to Ascension and get into that Galarian Weezing. Galarian Weezing is just such a great lead for this deck, and something that I've uh, I've done recently with my Dark List is we have made some... Uh, oh, yeah, I can grab two energies off the Professor's Letter. Thanks. Uh, I've made some adjustments so that I have an easier time getting a quick lead. Uh, I've got a float stone, a scoop up net, and the air balloon in here now. So we have a good, like amount lightning of, deck. a good amount of switch cards to get a either a hoopa or the coughing for a sure. turn one, you know, turn one meaningful attack. But um, no, I'm gonna play sequences correctly and I think I'm okay quick balling away timer ball here because i don't want to discard anything else in my hand and timer ball could just be a card without text so i'm going to quick ball away that and go grab i really hope alolan vulpix like every game i really hope that that's not prized alolan vulpix and the octillery line if that's in the deck i'm fine anything else can be prized um so i'm going to take a second here and just make sure we got you got it. You got to check to see if Blastoise is prized. Because if Blastoise is prized, you need to know so you can go get out Frostma. So we're gonna look at the Blastoise line. Okay, let's check the Frostmoth line. <clears throat> Frostmoth is accounted for. Let's also check the Inteleon. That's also extremely important. Let's see if we got access to at least Drizzile. I'd like to at least have a Drizzile. Drizzile so good. Uh, I mean, Water has some of the best support. Drizzile in... is gone. Oh, but Water has okay. some of the best support in the game, but it does rely on those rain dance Prizing attackers. Can really right? hurt all you of, in the stack. All of its attackers. That is like the double-edged sword of the water type, right? Yeah. Is that it's got some of the best support in gym leader challenge format, but. It also, all of its attackers require those cards to be set up yep. in order to do anything. It's like one of those decks where once you get your board set up, like you're just, you feel like invincible. Yeah. But um, getting there can be a challenge sometimes, especially against dark can be rough because another thing I'm scared about is the Weavile. Weavile is the most scary attacker in that deck against mine because you can easily one shot Waylord, which is really scary. Um, right. It feels like everybody in the water deck's got an ability, even Bird Waylord. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Even Waylord, yeah. You don't think about Waylord's ability much, but it it does have one. Um Okay, I am going to hmm. Dive Ball for Remember Raid. And we will also Brooklyn Hill. I Seems bird good. Bird Keeper before that in case I draw one of them. So I can go exactly. something else. Very important. You know what? I think because the Drizzile is prized, it's going to be kind of hard for me to... So this is where I have to decide. You have to decide right now. Sh do I have enough time to get my Blast Toys out? Or do I just want to have that faster... I think against Dark, since Dark is so aggressive, I don't mind just, I think, just getting the Frostmoth set up instead. Because it's just a way for me to be aggressive, more aggressive. And I'm going to go back in the deck. Um, I'm going to attach a water here. I'm going to... I haven't played a supporter yet, right? You bird keeper. Oh, I, yeah, that's right, bird keeper. Uh, evolve to Waylord. Sick. And then Beacon. Yep, big boy. For the octopus and the water bug thing. Frost awesome. Month. There we go. Nice. I will draw for turn. Alolan Vulpix beacon attack. So, so gnarly. Very good card. A free attack. I mean, what's not to love about a free attack, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially one that helps you set up your board. This is a card that was so good. I mean, it was played in standard yeah. while it was, uh, you know, while it was legal to help set up the Just for attacks. a beacon, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like you would jam in the the Alolan Vulpix G or Alolan Ninetales GX just to use that thing. Right, because I had an attack for a double colorless. Yep. 
We're going to use Bridget. Now, Bridget and... Uh, uh-oh, I've got Bridget and Bridget in here. It's supposed to be a Uh-oh. Bridget and a Gloria. Cheater! <laughs> <laughs> it's a... It's, <laughs> Cheater! It's Andrew, got, you're only allowed one copy of each card. Joe Chill is supposed to be a Bridget and a Gloria, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to get that Gloria in there. There that is. Okay. Ah, there we go. It was a proxy. It was a proxy. That's it. Hey. Yeah. Disqualified. Wait, I've got <laughs> money on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I win. Yeah. <laughs> Judge. Oh, you y'all chill, judge. <laughs> Technically, I'm a judge. So there we go. Make sure that yeah, there's just uh just the Bridget. Make sure there is no Gloria in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, make sure you don't got three. No, Bridgets no, no, there. no. I ran out of Gloria. I okay. ran out of Glorias. All right. It just yeah. came out, guys. Come it on. just came out. Just came out. Okay. So then, uh, I'm gonna use Bridget. Yeah, Bridget. And there yep. are no other Bridgets in my deck. Great. So not in there, is it? <laughs> guess we'll find uh, out yeah, yeah. listen keep your eye on this guy okay <laughs> if he rips a bridget off the prizes you guys gotta let me know yeah <laughs> yeah so we're gonna grab nice i got people in the chat explaining to me how gym leader challenge works like you realize it's a singleton format right <laughs> <laughs> that's sick okay we're gonna get the spear tomb which is great just to kind of get that guy going we're going to get the Nicket, and we are going to get Hoop Dog. Hoop Dog? Yeah. Whoa, so what is that? Hoopa? That is the new Hoopa art Whoa. from Fusion or from VMAX Climax. That's sick. He's insane, isn't he? He's got hands coming out of portals and stuff. That's yeah, crazy. I know. This one, this artwork's insane. I don't really know where it's from or if there's an English print of this, but uh, I don't, I don't know, guys. So. That Hoopa so. artwork is crazy. super, super, super gnarly. So definitely recommend if you open any, you know, VMAX Climax. We're going to use that uh, Building Spite ability on the Spear Tomb before I forget about it. And then I would like to, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to evolve Sneasel into Weavile to have that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use Level Ball. And we're going to use the Level Ball to go get Golbat and draw some cards. You can just... Uh, Man, you're... Uh... Set up, ready to go. Pretty good. I think that the uh, right now I'm playing the basically the Nicket and the Thievel with the intention of replacing those with the new yeah the Thievel instead yeah you know with the new uh, Lipard whenever that comes out. But I think that Crobat stays because Crobat does Crobat damage seems pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's for Twin Energy. You already play Twin and DC does a hundred with your you know with your Claw and your Devoured Field. It could do one thirty. So yeah. that's that's good. Uh, we'll use the Discrete Draw ability to draw two. And then I have some good options for next turn. I'm going to commit an energy to the um, Weavile. Seems like a good place to have it. And then we're just going to use Severe Poison. So 40 Got one damage of from Poison Markers. You know it. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, oh, those are pretty. Yeah, I've got the nice ones. Ooh. All right, draw. Okay, we will Brooklet Hill first, I believe. Brooklet Hill for, I think now, Staryu. Starmie is usually your guy that you can get out later. It's definitely not a priority. The guys that I have on the board right now are a priority. And then the next card I would really want is Sobble. But I think I'm good now to grab Staryu. Um, and then I have Sobble in my hand. So let me just shuffle real quick. I think I'm going to be going back in, but... I got a pretty sick play here, I think. I'm going Ooh. to boss's order around this wheezing. Bring up the Weavile. I have the Frost Moth. I have the Octillery. I have the Ultra Ball to thin my hand down. So if Ooh. I just can get a couple, a one or two energies, I could have a really strong turn here. That uh, is sus. Yes. Yeah, so, he's got um, the boss around my wheezing. Things you hate to hear. Sobble. Wheezing's neutralizing gas, currently turning off all of Jesse's abilities. So I thought I was safe. You know, I thought I was big chilling here. Uh, let's go ahead and boss's. Uh, hold on. Yes, boss's order up. Weavile. I was gonna say now, if you use that as your supporter, you do have to find three energy. Um. Well, that's true. In order to power up the Waylord. Uh. So it's tough, that's true. right? Mm -hmm. Off of uh, and because that you said there's an Ultra Ball, you can't play there's, it. Yeah, I can't play it. That's uh -uh. true. So mm -hmm. I gotta think about uh, this. So here we are. But I can't attack anyway, so 
I don't want this thing to get knocked out going into my turn. That either. would be bad. Or into your turn either. Yeah, that so, would that would be not good. I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of energy in the deck. Plus, I have letter, professor's bucket. letter, bucket. Go for it. I'm going for it, man. <laughs> Give me that weavile. Well, in worst case scenario, I just like, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be the same bad thing for me either way if I don't boss's order. So didn't you say Drizzle's prized? Uh, it is, but okay. I just played Sobble down this turn. Oh, okay, anyway, all right, so. all right. Yep. Um. So now we will go ahead and Abyssal Hand for three. Okay. Two, three. Oh, my gosh. That was almost sick. Uh, right, the net. I actually, that's something that I started playing in my water deck, too. I feel like you have to play the net because getting the Vulpix yeah. out of the way, you know, it yeah, sets up, sure. get it out the way, right? Which so good. Which is exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to play the scoop up net yep. to scoop that up, promote star you. Um, I think now let's go ahead and, hmm. <clears throat> I kind of don't mind just slamming the Vulpex back down and going to search, but there's nothing else I really need to get out of the deck. So I think I'm just going to ultra ball it away. Sure. And a Gloria to go search for, hmm. Let's see. I have three abilities right now. I don't want to get out another one. Uh, let's just get out something I don't mind going down. What do I not mind going down? I guess I'll just grab a Lapras. Cool. And I think I'm just going to throw up a Lapras, honestly. He's big. Um, you do have three abilities in play, though. So that's for Weavile, true. Yeah, Weavile... Is. I just need to, like, buy one more turn. I just need to, like, let something get knocked out. And since Drizzile is prized, maybe I should just give up the Sobble. Um, I do love Weavile. You guys know Sneasel's one of my favorite Pokemon, so getting to play a deck with Weavile in it, it's a good Weavile. One energy attacker, 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. Very good in Gym Leader Challenge since abilities rule the world. I mean, if you look at my board, I've got three abilities to play. That's 150 damage for one energy. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give up Sobble since Drizzle's prized. Sure. Uh, go ahead. Draw for turn, and I'm gonna use that Building Spite on Spear Tomb before I forget, and then we're gonna do Timer Ball and flip two coins, see if we can't find an Evolution Pokemon. I know there are some Timer Ball haters out there, and they I are Double Tails last game too. So the Timer Ball haters are eating good today. Okay. <laughs> The uh, listen, guys. It's I promise you, it's a good card. I pro I promise you. I'm going to actually, ugh, like, do we want to? Do I want to aggress? You know, and uh, potentially, you've only got a two card hand, so I feel like it's correct to just stick the wheezing again. Yeah. Um, I just didn't want to get knocked out going into your turn because then you're going right. to be able to take two prizes, which just feels horrible. But you yeah. might be able to do that anyways. I feel like this is still correct. Man, I do not like my ability getting turned off. This is and very unfortunate. This is very bad for Very water. inconvenient. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I think I'm good to just chill here. So I'm going to use severe poison again with the wheezing and poison you uh, again. That uh, neutralizing gas ability, really putting in a ton of work. Cynthia? it's tough because I could have, you know, at this point in the game, I could have taken the knockout very easily. Obviously, Hoopa can take the knockout. Weavile could take the knockout. Spiritomb can take the knockout. I got a bunch of different options to take the knockout. But I am just then inviting that Waylord to come up. Sure. Right. Before I basically am, am ready to deal with it. So I think I want to have a little bit more of an established board, if I can. Uh, maybe see if Weezing can't be a little bit more disruptive before, you know, before I start trading. Hmm. Hmm. So definitely don't want to put another ability in play. I'm going to go here. Okay. Right, because one more ability, and then yeah, Waylord I'm is... In trouble. Yeah. Um, hmm. Doesn't feel great. Really doesn't. Uh, 
Man, this wheezing is very, very annoying. Okay, so I guess I just have to pass. There's nothing else I can do. Yeah, pass. Pass. Then, I'm going to take a prize. And then I will promote... I guess Lapras is fine. Cool. All right, go ahead. And I'll draw for turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use Building Spite. Yep. And uh, it's looking like a severe poison yeah, for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> seems pretty good, you know? Yup. Um, that's what we got. Okay. Now. You know, wheezing. <laughs> Uh, Brooklet Hill. Putting in the work. Is putting in a lot of work. Especially against water. Water is such an ability reliant deck. You've got Weavile and Weezing um, that are able to uh, able to really punish those abilities. Hmm. And I have not really done a lot of drawing. You know, no, I played an You're just kind of like chilling with the Weezing, which is honestly like really good against this deck. <laughs> As you can see. I've played N and I've played Bridget. And other than that, we are kind of just big chilling. Which is, you know, as soon as you get that Lipard, man, this deck is going to be unhinged. You're just going to be able oh, yeah. to churn through the deck. That is that is just what any deck wants. Any deck would love to have trade as an ability available to it. That's fine, I guess. Um... And then we will hydro pump for forty. Okay. Then you take forty more damage. Yep. Draw for turn. Oh baby. Let's go. Evolution incense. That's right. And I'm feeling crowbat. Not really time to go with the uh not really time to go with the thievel yet. Feeling okay. With a drastic draw. Drastic draw. For wow. three. One, two, and three. Okay. Now, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I will use Spear Tomb's ability to put another damage counter on it. Hmm. Going to put a Dark Energy here. Air Balloon... Yep. And retreat. This might be too greedy, but we'll see. And then I'm going to actually goodness, force Weezing. the knockout. Weezing's out. So happy to see that guy go to the bench. <laughs> I just, right. you know, I was sick of, sick of waiting, so it's <laughs> fine. Also, I just want to, yeah, we're going to move the game along. We're going to take the knockout with the Hoopa, Assault Gate. And, yeah, I know I've kind of unleashed the Kraken at this point, but I'm already up two prizes, so I'm like, sure. okay. It uh, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sit here and wait forever for Jesse to find a a solution. Mm. Let's go with. Hmm. Mm. I cannot put another ability in play until Weavile is dealt with. Until Weavile is dealt with, so I am considering whether I want to attack with White Kiram or Waylord here. I think I would... I think it's probably just correct to attack with the Waylord. So I'm going to... Sonia for two water. Seems good. And... Uh, Brooklet Hill while I'm in the deck for... Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. <clears throat> I have to say, this is probably one of the best, you know, setup experiences I've had with the dark deck yeah, so far. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's really moving along, and I'm I'm feeling really good about the dark deck with the, you know, potential for that Lipard to get released eventually, because it really feels like that's all that dark really needed to be a, uh, you know, to be a top contender. Right. That was the main thing it was missing. Uh, ice dance, ice dance. Um. <clears throat> Let's just um. Do I want to do that now? Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to Super Rod in Lapras, Sobble, and Water. And... And we can see the water deck. Really making up for lost time here. Yeah. Uh, I definitely should have uh, Super Rodded before... I wasn't thinking I was going to play that this turn. That's why I Brooklet Hilled before I Super Rodded. Mm. But that's okay. We'll get him out next turn. Um... And then I will Abyssal Hand for two. Sure. I guess I'll just play the Nest Ball for the Sobble. Mm, dealing <clears throat> with this Waylord is going to be a pain. And Straight up. I was waiting to play Super Rod because I did not want to put the Alolan Vulpix back in my deck, and you have to put three things back to the deck. Right. So, um, retreat... And we will hydro pump for 170. Okay, take the knockouts. Yeah, that guy. You know, Waylord, pretty big. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. That's one of the you know. He needs to at least take one hit. That is uh, usually what you want. You definitely don't want to see the whale or go down as soon as you get the whale up because the whale is quite the investment. So you want to hear something funny that happened during the 1K? Is yeah. I was playing against a dark deck and my opponent. I played Hex Maniac, and then he tried to swing with Evil Admonition, Ooh. and it did zero damage. And like <laughs> I, st I waited till he announced the attack, then I was like, no, no, like don't even zero damage. He's zero like, damage. no. Oh, that's so I know. rough. It's like dude. you don't really think about it that way, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a heartbreaker for him for sure. <laughs> <laughs> really is. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, now. We've got decisions to make. You've only got three abilities in play, so Evil Admonition is only doing um, one fifty. Is only doing one fifty. It can at max do one seventy, one eighty, uh, which is still not going to be enough. So I feel like we want to. How many cards are in your hand? I have five. That's fine. Let's. Attach an energy here. Um, no. Let's Raihan an energy to the Galarian Weezing, and then I get to search my deck for whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to grab that card. And you know what? Weezing does turn off your Waylord's ability, so that that's true. good. So you won't be able to heal it from poison, yes. which I'm fine with. So we're going to do that, get this card, use Building Spite to put me up to five damage counters, retreat into the Galarian Weezing, and then I can use... So you've got one more thing I want to do. Oh, yeah. You know him. You love him. There he is. Gunslord uh -oh. with the DCE. That's scary. And... Uh, We'll use Severe Poison Kep. Yep, to poison you and hopefully chip away at that Waylord's hit points a little bit. Hmm. No abilities, eh? None. Hmm. None abilities. None abilities to be had. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Raihan is such an insane supporter card. I mean, and look at yeah, how many. Sure, I mean, yeah. people complain about people complain about there not being like a, a variety of good supporter cards to use in standard. It's just the three prizers, yeah, right. uh, because there are a lot of really good ones. Raihan, you've got Bruno, you've got Sonia, yeah. right? I mean, Sonia is like a great setup card. You've got Bruno's Gloria, great. I love Bruno. Gloria on the horizon. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, Skyla is a supporter that doesn't see any play. Um, you just can't play any of it because you just have to play such a hyper aggressive. Uh, there's Peony is like a cool card. Uh, I really like the design of Peony. There's Nessa. Right, there's all these cool supporter cards. It's just that none of them see any play because it's all just dominated by Pokemon V Max. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think Melanie, I am just going Melanie's to insane too, yeah. Level ball for la for Sarmi now because he's he's gonna be getting KO'd by Weavile anyways. So I'm just gonna get out the Starmie. Just in case my hand gets disrupted. Um, let me see. I might go back in. I'm going to play Ball Guy just because it's sure. a supporter I can play. 
I don't think I'm really going to get anything off of it. Nope, the ball guy for nothing. So, bro broken card. Um, Busted. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see late game is obviously not great. I mean, that's the case for any setup supporter. But it's a setup deck, so it you is. have it's to play setup those deck. setup yeah, supporters, sure, sure, right? Sure. You have to. And you got dive ball in this deck, which is so good. It really makes me want to play ball guy in the water deck, yeah, for sure. Uh, attached to uh, White Curum. And I could play Rough Seas, but I don't see a point. It's not really doing anything. Uh, it's not fixing any math. So I'm just going to uh, Hydro Pump for the knockout. Cool. Jesse's going to go to round four prizes. So we are if I heal tied. with Rough Seas, um, I'm still poisoned. So he's going to take... He's going to go back up to 50 damage, and he can still do 150 with the Weavile. So. Okay, it is time... Time to start doing our thing. I've got Zerua. Very good card. Um, thankful to have that coming down in the end game, especially since water is a deck that fills its bench constantly. So that is very good. I have also got Beast Ring. So we can power up that Guzzlord. Get two darkness energy from my deck. One yep. darkness energy from my deck. <laughs> and oh, attach it to my no. Guzzlord. It's fine. Yeah, there's one in my hand. I, oh, I had a super rod in my hand. Take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one second. All right. I did a take back play earlier. It's all good. I'm going to play a super rod. <laughs> I always forget about Beast Ring. Super rod, and then we're going to shuffle two Darkness Energy and the Hoopa back into the deck. And then I will play uh, Beast Ring. Yes. Beast Ring. And the white Kyrim's really going to put in work here because it's this is where it's really crucial. Like, imagine if I just had to swing into that with Wishy Washy right now. Like, that's not enough damage to knock it out. So the right. white Kyrim is going to put in work there. It is. It is. Now, the thing about the poison damage in Red Banquet is that Red Banquet does 120. If the Waylord were to get knocked out from poison, then I wouldn't get to take the so extra the, prize. I was thinking you were going to go in with Weavile, so... I think it would have been the relevant. The the um rough, rough seas might have been relevant then. It would have right, but I I didn't reveal that. I mean, right, I, had you, the, I didn't know. I had the twin on it, but uh, or the DCE, but still. I wasn't thinking you were gonna get the B string. Yeah, no, I've been sitting on that since like the first <laughs> turn of the game. All right, so we got the B string onto the Guzzlord. Guzzlord is all powered up and ready to go. Waylord has got a hundred and or hundred twenty hit points left, which is exactly how much Red Banquet does. Man, uh, I've got. Uh, no supporters that I've played yet, which is interesting. So I think that I'm going to attach to this spear tomb, and then field blower your Brooklyn Hill, and I'm just going to juniper yeah, at this point sure. because I've got Gloria and I've got Lysander in my hand, but I don't really need any of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just want to set up a little bit more. I'm going to use Town Map, which reveals my prize cards. Very good in the dark deck since draw is, you know, yeah. not dark strong suits. Town Map really helps to kind of piece everything together. And also, um, also it just helps you to find your Guzzlord, which is the best yeah. card in the deck. So that is... That is very good. And you do that instead of Gladion because the deck is not like a slow setup deck, so you don't really have the time to play a supporter no, to do exactly. it. No, exactly. Town Map is better than Gladion in this deck because you can take aggressive prizes with cards like um, the Hoopa and stuff like that. Sure. You know, you can take quick prizes that way. Now, yep. how many cards are in your hand? I have five. Five. Okay. That is good. I will retreat into the Guzzlord, and Guzzlord is... Coming in hot with a red banquet for two yep. prize cards. Gonna grab teammates and the darkness energy off my prizes. My hand. Uh, yeah, we just go in with white curum here. I'm gonna need like a reset stamp or an N here. Be really nice. That would be but huge. I don't yep. know if I'll be able to do it. I'm just gonna slam that down. It would be really sick if I could get. I mean, I, I mean, it's it's not a perfect world. I'm gonna prize something, but I was thinking like being able to do the twenty snipe with Intellion right now would be insane. Uh, that would be nuts. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to just. What do I want to bench? I think I just go in with. I'll just bench the Wilmer. Um. Hmm. Ice dance. Yep. 
Um, I can play my hand down one more card. Uh, Space Beacon. Yep. Two water. Um, ice Dance. Uh, and then I'm going to need a really good two cards off this Abyssal Hand. So Abyssal Hand for two. Well, I guess it could have been worse, but I do not have a way to disrupt it. I can just, okay, as long as I can do it next turn, I think I'll be chilling. Yeah, I do uh, still have two knockouts to take, yes. unless it's with, uh, you know, Guzzlord. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, professor is the letter, but I Guzzlord is going down. I can't I can't power up the Guzzlord. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's technically possible. It's technically possible. <laughs> it's, oh, my technically. word. Oh, my word. Okay, let me... Uh, look at my discard. I'm definitely playing Versus Seeker here for a card that's going to draw me the most. The mostest. Let's see. I think that's going to have to be Cynthia. I would love to... Actually, you know, Cynthia's fine because I want to keep this Wailer. Uh, versus Seeker for and I know Cynthia. Play that. Some of chat is going to be very excited to hear that I'm starting to come around on Piers in the Dark deck as well. Oh, boy. In the Just in the... Listen, I'm not proud of it, okay? But he's okay in here. Yeah. He's he's I think all it's right. Standard where people are really gonna be giving you crap if that ever is a card you want to play. No, but I mean like I'm gonna, gonna be the one giving them crap in standard. Other people love peers, and you know, no, no, no. I'm a huge peers denier. But yes, right. In gym leader challenge, uh, you know what? Oh, I got you. Okay. A dark Pokemon and an energy. That's okay. I think I actually cut. Ultra Ball for this card to fit it in because I was sense. like Ultra Ball is a card that I've we've considered a lot not playing in a lot of decks or I've considered a lot just because the discard is feels really bad sometimes. I think Ultra Ball is fine in decks that have draw power like this one, yeah, right? right. Um, you have Octillery, like Ultra Ball is great, but in a deck like Dark where your hands are often small, then you don't really necessarily need it. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just freezing flames for 160 damage. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. So Kyrim getting in there. Good old white Kyrim. And taking the knockouts with <laughs> freezing flames. There we go. That Kyrim from Lost Thunder. Can you tell that I don't know exactly how to say these guys' names? <laughs> Kyrim, Kyrim. He is uh, it's, uh something. Awkward Pokemon to pronounce for sure. White Curum. Freezing Flames. Needs that fire energy. So I'm assuming it's just one fire in the deck, right? Yep. Yep. Just to power up that uh, that Curum. You now. don't need it every game. So the, turn the games you get it, it's great. But obviously here it's really good. But I don't know if it's going to be enough to save me. Okay. So I can set up... I can set up some pretty good plays. This is always how my games against Dark go. They always get it our head and then I can enter reset stamp and win off that. But teammates. we'll see if it's enough. Got teammates. Like teammates. Teammates is good. Teammates is very good. So let's teammates and we want to try and establish our board to you know be as safe as possible. Now the thing is at this point if you do send up Whale Lord, Whale Lord will have an ability and you'll have four abilities in play. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to True. use teammates, and I'm going to get, let's see, make sure that I don't have any. That's fine. I'm going to set up multiple things that allow me to potentially make this final play. That's going to be the game plan. So teammates, well, let me, is there a better card I can get? No. Okay, those are the two. So off of the teammates, I am getting two cards, but you don't get to know what they are. However, you will probably see some of it. We're going to put that Galarian Moltres into play with its Malevolent oh, wow. Charge okay. and just get two energy slapped right onto it. And that basically sets up a Checkmate Fiery Wrath Right? Because Fiery Wrath does 20 plus 50 more damage for each prize card you've taken. So if you Woof. take one more prize, I'm doing 220 damage. This card is insane. I know a lot Did of... you see the standard deck that Ross just won with? Oh, with yes, that? yes, yes. Oh, my yeah, word. Insane. Uh, so this card is very, very good in Gym Leader Challenge um, because it's it's like your late game sweeper. Yeah. 
That can just set up your checkmate That's situations. That's crazy. Wow. So then we're going to go up with Spear Tomb. Spear Tomb's doing 160 damage right now since I've built a Sheesh. lot of spite. Yes. Has. And yeah, basically Raihan and teammates are really good for setting up this Moltres. Uh, I also play a letter in here, just, which you saw turn one, sure, yeah. so that I can go, you know, teammates for Moltres letter, and then you're you're just doing it, right? So we're going to Anguish Cry, and I will grab the Evo Soda. Okay, so... Oh, my word, you've, like, set up Checkmate really well, so... I got it a bunch of different ways right now. Yeah, so I think we just got to, like... Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way out of this, but... Let's just play it out and see what happens. We've got a large hand. Fortunately, I cannot um, gust and well, actually, I can because I have reset stamp. Ooh, but, I do like that. Like it's gonna right. Be hard. So that's why, as the dark deck, it's like I know that your game plan is to end me. So I'm like, I need to create yes. as many because like you could gust an end, right? So that's why I had to set up this because you could have potentially exactly. knocked out Weavile stamp. So right. I need to. I'm gonna try to gust the Weavile and then hope you don't get an energy off For the Moltres. And I need to find the reset stamp too because I don't have it yet. So <laughs> I actually think it could be prized. So I'm gonna Evo Soda. No, it's in here. Oh, is the next card? Come on. <laughs> That's uh, so sad. All right, shuffle. Um, Evolution Incense. Yep. Be so free if you didn't prize the Drizzle, dude. Just I know. Go get it. I know. Yep. But like I said can't ask for everything i didn't prize any of my other guys so yep of course your is the one that's prized you just kind of got to live with it so i can't complain about that too much even though i really want to um i'm going to space beacon sure to water uh star f uh what do you call it ice dance Nice dance. Just to thin the hand down. Yes. Love to see it. Um, Guzma up Weavile. Okay. Mm -mm. You know what? Get up there, Starmie. Because you could go for Paralysis. Could. Yep. Yep. And then I will Abyssal Hand for three. Needs to be Stamp. Nope. Dang. And... Um, Hmm. Yeah, there's no way you don't have a dark in your hand. So I think Star Freeze is going to be my card that I play here. And I will Star Freeze for 30, even though you probably have a card to get out of that position too. You even gotta if I go paralyze for it, you. Right? You gotta go for yeah, it. Yeah, so I am in. paralyzed, you know. But oh. I do have Scoop Up Nets, oh, no. which I can use to play that and then just knock out with yep. Anguish Cry for game. So wait, the prediction is for best the best of three result, right? Nah, it was game one. Man. No way. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'll end with prize anyway. So. Sad. Uh, well, now I'm poor. Oh, well, it is what it is. That's what I get for betting on myself. Okay. So I, wow. I mean, that was one of the best uh, performances I think I've had from... The yeah, dark deck. That seemed really good. Yeah, that did uh... seem good. I think Oof. that it's the first game where I've played with both Thievel and Crobat. Yeah. A lot of times I've played dark and it just feels like a, a hit or miss, kind of like a big pile. It honestly. does. It, it, it feels like, like a, you have to really run hot to. It does feel like yeah. a run hot list. But I think that I've, I'm trying to make conscious changes to the list yeah. to make it not a run hot deck. Because it doesn't have to be in. And with Lipard on the horizon, that's going to be a good consistency card. Dark has got some of the best attackers in the game. What's weird about Dark is that all the different attackers don't necessarily go together. They don't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, it's like they, they kind of... Like they're are, strong on their own, but they don't really mesh well together. Yeah, yeah, so you have to find the ones that do go well together. I think that in this particular Dark list, I'm relying on... Pokemon that utilize Twin in DCE. We've got Crobat, Zorark, and we've got the uh, Guzzlord, obviously, or like your big three yeah, who, right. that utilize those. Then, you know, also leaning into basic darks with your Moltres and your Raihan and your Weavile. Uh, I think that in order to help increase consistency, 
I just trimmed out the other stage two Pokemon. You know, no, right, yeah. no, uh, we don't have I the draw hand. support to play uh, Obstagoon consistently. We yeah, don't I have, agree with that. We don't have the draw supports to play the, uh, you know, the Grimmsnarl consistently, even though the Grimmsnarl is yeah. insane. You know, yeah, they get. I mean, what is it? You have to have a two at two or less bench Pokemon to use, which in dark sometimes that's just it. That's how it be, you know, because because yeah. you don't have a lot of guys out at once. But yeah, that's uh, one thing I've been noticing just from playing like my casual games of GLC. I haven't been playing a whole lot, but I've been sticking with this water list for the most part. It seems like like I'm gonna need to like adapt and like make add something spicy to this to this type because like even if it's just like the amazing Kyogre, because I don't think like the water doesn't really have anything that like you know pushes it into like you know it's just trying to take knockouts and with big guys which is yep. like what it does it's consistent and it takes knocks with knockouts with big guys but if you can play around that and like most decks now are finding ways to like get around the whale lord you know so like which is like that used to be the ace yeah that used yeah. to be and i don't think that's going to be good enough now which is i guess cool because i mean it is cool to see that because it, it kind of forces you to adapt and because if i i can't just keep playing the same list forever stuff like that's gonna happen you know um that's what i found in my first couple months playing gym leader challenge i like had my original list that i had cooked up and i was yeah. like oh yeah and this, i was like you're really really happy this with owns it. and then and then i just like uh you just started getting smacked by yeah. like everybody i played against and was like wow i'm gonna need to <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to, you know, mix it up a little bit. But it's funny how much you learn. I mean, you could really, yeah. there is so much to learn in the I format. already can think of, like, so many things I want to do different about this uh -huh. deck. Like, I, th I think that, I mean, I was thinking about water, and I think that water can realistically just play, um, you, you could just play an Amazing Kyogre and a Counter Energy. Just yeah, the, I, that I was thinking like, that because know? I was talking to John again about, like, how changes we want to go for with the deck or whatever. Yeah. Um And... You can. You can just play Amazing Kyogre and a Counter Energy, and then I, he was he was saying like I think you still want to play like Wishy Washy because I think you can just maybe like I don't know if you don't if you decide not to play Waylord, but you could just have Wishy Washy be your big guy because the difference between one eighty one eighty HP and two hundred isn't that much honestly. No. Nah. The thing about the Waylord is is that it's nice is that it like has an unlimited damage ceiling, which is right. like a really nice thing to have. Sometimes but, you need to like hit somebody that's got 180, 170, you know, just yeah. to take that KO, right? So I think going forward I do want to do kind of what you said and just like maybe not go as hard into the spread as your water spread list you played yeah. recently, but have that as like an option to like Because why not um, just teammates for I mean you could drizzle teammates yeah. Boom, boom, and then you. I mean, it's a it's a way for the water deck to take. You could just take two prizes at once. I mean, and even if you just do that one time in the game, yeah. And you're always behind. I feel like with this deck, a lot of the time, you're usually always behind. So yeah, I'm I'm actually excited to like, you know, even tonight, just go lab this lab it out a little bit and make some changes to this deck and you know, get myself ready for the next event, whatever that may be. Yeah, we got the Gym Leader Challenge 1K, the next one happening yeah. with the release of Brilliant Stars. I know a lot of ple uh, people have already started making their plans, but we're seeing some more players uh, start to participate in Gym Leader Challenge tournaments across the country, across the world, actually. I mean, we've gotten contacted by some people in Brazil that uh, are playing Gym Leader Challenge at their local league. We actually have, this is very exciting, we have a, uh, a Gym Leader Challenge event locator uh, that yes. is being developed for the website. That. Yes, so major thanks to That's Dylan awesome. and the mods that have been working on that. If you know of a local league that plays Gym Leader Challenge format or of local tournaments to you or of an upcoming tournament online or in real life that have Gym Leader Challenge events, make sure to email all the information about the event to info at gymleaderchallenge.com and it will uh, it'll be placed on our event locator. So that way, anybody who visits gymleaderchallenge.com can... Uh, you know, can find the nearest Gym Leader Challenge event or league or even an online tournament. See, so yeah, I'm definitely going to make some changes to the water list. And if the water definitely doesn't, if it doesn't like, if it's not, doesn't feeling up to snuff, I'm, I think I might just have to switch to a different type, but I don't know. All right, so I'm going to draw for turn. Sounds good. And Nest Ball for, I already know what I'm grabbing. Please don't be prized. And I'm not talking about Alolan Vulpix. I am talking about, yes, thank you. Yes, you want the artillery. Yes. Very important. Um, yeah. Let me just do a quick check. We're going to first check Blastoise. Yep, see if Blastoise... Because Blastoise is your preferred, obviously, Rain Dancer, if you have that option. Yes. Um, just being able to attach anywhere is so much better. 
Frost Moth, you can sometimes get stuck in these awkward hands um, where you can't, you can only accelerate to the bench. So it's a lot more annoying than you might think. There's um, something that uh, I really want to, yeah, it's so difficult fitting everything that you want to play in a deck in a gym leader challenge deck. Yeah, it it's is. so difficult. So that's part of the, you know, part of the skill of it is figuring out, you know, what are the concessions? What are, uh, you know, what are the, the different, uh, you know, cards that I could afford not to run? What cards have priority over other ones? Right. Because at this point, being able to play any card from the last 10 years, uh, you know, as your trainer cards or your support Pokemon, um, there are way more than 60 good cards to put oh, in yeah. your deck. Like, oh, yeah. Way, way more. I can't tell you how much I want to play Floatstone and Air Balloon and Scoop Up Net in all my decks. I really want those three cards in all my decks. But uh, it's just really difficult to fit them all. Some, you know, with the Dragon deck, all I got is Floatstone. <laughs> it's yeah. just the one. And, uh, you know, and then we've got Guzma and we've got Tate and Liza and that's it. I think I'm going to retreat to the Wishy Washy just because I don't want Staryu to... Um, I think that's fine. I think that's correct. Cool. Um, I would yeah, agree with ahead. that um, because I do have turn one Hoopa in my hand. Okay. So that uh, could have and if been... if Wishy-Washy goes back to the deck, it's fine. Annoying for you. Treater. Yes. Let's do... Okay. I think it's fine to probably just go with the turn one. If we've got it, the, the turn one... Uh, and quick ball away the muscle band. The turn one, you know it. Coughing, wheezing thing. Yeah, do that. Not Galarian naked. wheezing. Not that would be <laughs> sick. Yeah, we've got it again. That so would be annoying. I think that that's probably going to be our best bet. So I'll do that. We'll slap the air balloon there. Professor's letter. Yeah, I think that's really strong against like grass and water, especially just because they're so reliant on abilities to set up their board. And I know I can get two, but I'm getting ready to shuffle my hand, so oh, I'm not okay. going to commit both. Floatstone there. And nice. cards in hand? Um, four. Four. That's fine. Then I'm just going to Cynthia. Had Marnie, but you've already got a four-card hand, so save that for later. And we're going to be grabbing a turn one Ascension. So we're going to get that Weezing. Floatstone on the coughing feels really good since Weezing is a... He's a big boy. He's got to retreat to three. He's kind of tough to maneuver around. That is one of the the difficult things about playing the Galarian Weezing. One, two, three. Four, I kind of like that. Six. Hope that they, they gave him three retreats. I feel like that would be way too easy to abuse. Oh, yeah. Abuse Even if it was two air balloon yeah, exactly. compatible. But like three, it's it's good. That because seems like a good thing. Yeah, because it makes it so that uh, you really have to like figure out how you're going to play your Weezing. It's not the easiest card to use, but it is so good that it's pretty much always worth it. Okay, I'm going to draw. Yep. And uh, just slam an energy here. Evolve to Octillery. Bench Lapras, might as well. And then pass. Okay. So we've got Octillery set up, and now you're just... Well, Hydro Splash? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Does take the knockout. I'm out. thinking Weezing won't be as annoying to uh, draw. And Scatter is never going to be in effect, thankfully. I'm kind of happy that's being turned off right now. Yes. Yes. So he doesn't just get yeeted back to the deck. This is interesting because I've got Pierce. So <laughs> you know what? Is he playing Here it? Here we are. All right. I'm playing Pierce, man. Everybody's favorite Piers. dark type. I know. Leader. Well, if you love peers and you're tired of me hating on peers on my Twitch streams, which I do all the time because I think that peers is a pretty garbage supporter. Peers is really good in Gym Leader Challenge. So I will concede that. I'm thinking that. Standard, no. Standard, I'm not a fan. Though some people are. That's fine. And I'll respect yeah, that. You know. But not me. Not me. Um, I'm feeling like. We go straight for the. Do I go straight for the goose, dude? Goosey <laughs> goosey. Do I go straight for the goose? Can a mountain munch me? No, bad. man. I'm just thinking about just, just starting thinking to commit later, energy yeah. to it. Doesn't seem bad. Yeah, I think that that seems fine. Soften something up with wheezing. Get yeah. Head on the prizes. That's fine. That's fine. 
Okay. Oh, and I get an energy. This is this is poggers. Oh, true, okay. true, true. Any so, energy you want, you can get double colorless. I know. I know. Now yeah, we're gonna grab that. Oh, okay. Cool. The goose, the filthy goose. Pierce putting in work. Yeah, there we go, Pierce. Okay. So we've got the the Guzzlord and we've got an energy. I've got like all my energy in my hand, so I'm just gonna uh, play that I down. See. And actually I am gonna use Evo Soda as well to okay. turn that Sneasel into a Wee Vial, get that ready to go. And then I will use severe poison. Yep. Place our And I don't do scatter, so my ability is turned off. Yes, which is what Drop. I want. N. N, okay. That's fine. Did you just top deck that supporter then? I did. Okay. <laughs> cool. I did. There but, we go. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I get these starts a lot sometimes with water. You either, if you start starting Lapras or Wishy Washy, both feel fine because Lapras can attack for one or two energies. Yeah. And then you can just go like turn one energy, turn two, turn three, attack with Wishy Washy. Yep. Just get out, swing it. Out I feel gate. like turn three is like. You know, most decks attack on turn three. Yeah, that makes You know, the right. grass deck, the water deck. With water, you're really happy to be attacking by turn three because usually you're still setting up your board. Yes. Water's uh, got one of the strongest six. late games out of any deck. Definitely. Okay. All right. Uh, Fascinating. Definitely just slam snom. I've been saying slam a lot. It's a team fight tactics term. I've been playing that a lot. Is with it? I've yeah. been playing that a lot with Brady. Uh, yeah. You say slam when you're putting an item down. Got it. Uh, level ball. Yeah. Basically, you know, I don't know anything about team fight tactics, but uh, awesome game so far. Yeah. All Brady's told me about is how to summon a hydra. That's it. Summon a wait what? A hydra to the chat. Summon a hydra. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It, it's for the best. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to think like what that even means. I don't worry about it. All right, I'll just. Uh, <laughs> Brady's a funny guy. <laughs> uh, what do I want to grab here? I kind of like grabbing Sobble. Sobble's a great card. Yeah, let's just grab. Good old Sob here. Hmm. And we already attached our energy. Yes. Let's see. Nice. Mm. So that wishy washy is taking the knockout. Yes. 130 damage. I do love this card. Yeah, it's so in good. the water deck. It's so good. 180 hit points. I mean, you it's really insane. you really can't be disappointed with that. And then its ability is not even bad because it's, it's like good and bad at the same yeah. time. But it's usually like you're fine with it. Like early game is when it's bad. Late game, you like it because you can just get right back. Deny out. a prize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's do check your mic a little bit just to make sure it's oh, like, yeah. yeah, not creeping down. My yeah. mic keeps sliding back. There you go. Right, cool. There we go. Um, can't use abilities, so we'll just Hydro Splash cool. for 130. Seems good. You're at 80 now. You've got two abilities in play. And so prize counter. 100 and prize counter. Excellent. Two, five. I'm taking one. All right. Very good. And I will draw. Okay. This is fine. This this is okay. So you're still poisoned, which is very good for me, because that means that I'm going to be able to uh, trade. So let's just put the Moltres... Ah! Yeah, let's put the Moltres into play while I have it. And then attach the Hiding Darkness energy and... We're going to evil admonition for yep, 100, and then with it. the poison, you're knocked out. And you can Goes see how to hand. precarious things get with the dark deck. Um, because now, just randomly, I don't have any draw. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> just like the story of the dark deck. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, draw. I'm just going to slam Wishy Washy back down. There he is. Yeah, Wishy Washy. He's still here. He's not going anywhere. Because of that splash energy. Uh, evolve the Frost Moth. Ice Dance. Uh, is it better to do 
Might be better to, because three energy KOs Weavile with either of these guys, and if but if I miss, I could at least do like a Confuse Ray or something. Uh, so I'm going to Ice Dance to Lap, Lapras, and hmm, a lot of awkward cards in my hand right now. Hmm, like I have a Guzma and a Boss, so like, and I can't really play my hand down for Abyssal Hand, so I'm. <laughs> Debating on whether this is where having Frost Moth instead of Blastoise is really annoying. Limits yes. your options. Um, so I'm going to. Hmm. By boss, I can Abyssal for one more card. I can Abyssal for two, but or I could just do Abyssal for one and then. See if you find a draw supporter. Because I don't. Or... I want to knock out the Weavile, so I'm just right. going to have to Abyssal for one. Bizzle yeah. for one. Awesome. That's insane. Uh, teammates. Yeah, that that's gonna. Let's go. That's gonna fix it. <laughs> that'll do, deck. That'll do. All right. So, I need two cards. I want a. Eh? Yeah. So. I'm gonna need uh, some sauce off the top of my deck because right now I am kind of, I'm starting to sputter a little bit. Ah. Uh, you hate to see it. Is your letter prized in Bucket? No, it is not. Oh. Well, then you're chilling. I actually kind of like getting these two cards. Yes. Very two. Very good two cards. And I'm just going to... Uh, I grabbed Ultra Ball and Capacious Bucket, because I'm going to Ultra Ball away this War Turtle and... Actually, yeah, War Turtle and Hex Maniac. Cool. To just play my hand down a little bit. I do get rid of Hex Maniac, but it's fine. That deck's not very reliant on abilities. You're not really looking to use that. Nope. So I'm going to grab just Drizzile. Drizzile, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Um, Shady Dealings for... I'm just gonna grab Evolution Incense for next turn. Yeah. Give Seems myself really some good. options, um, and then Capacious Bucket. For two water, and then I'm next turn. I'm either gonna use the depending on what I top deck, the Evolution Incense for Starmie, or just for Inteleon. Mm -hmm. Probably Inteleon. Yeah, I mean, you're really cooking now. Yeah. In a good spot. Uh, ice Dance. Okay. Retreat. And I'll Hydro Pump for 100 damage. Now, I am really close to being able to respond to this. I just need an energy. <laughs> Looks like he found it. That is the... Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what we needed. Okay, so we've got... But you're doing 120, right? Well, I've got oh, B string. Something else? No, I've oh, got no. some. I've got some way. I'll just watch. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'll some. just stop talking. <laughs> I've got, I've got, I've got plays. All right. So I've got nest ball. The nest ball is going to go get me. Um, probably gotta be. Huh. Zerua is pretty good. I hate having to sack the Moltres like this, but it's yeah, kind of where I'm at. Use that card later, but yep. okay. this is kind of more like what I expect a dark deck to do, just kind of like fizzle. Not like <laughs> get like 500 guys out. And... I've got Sonya. Yeah. All right, Sonya will get me my dark energy, which is very good. Yeah. And then we've got the Galarian Moltres. Which I will show off on the screen. Ultra is usually better later in the game, but you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. So. Yeah, you can teammates even if your opponent, even if you weren't KO'd by an attack, because it just says if one of your Pokemon was knocked out. So did you? No, get from poison? It, it, no, it was oh. from evil admonition. But no, was it just does have it does have to be from an attack because poison's between turns. 
Oh, so it says well, during your last turn. It, it's okay because it fine. wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think. You if can't that's what teammates I did. if it's poison because tw- poison's between turns. Gotcha. Yep, yep. yep. So we're going to put down I the Devoured know. Field, which boosts our damage by 10. And. Ah, okay. Then. Um, yep, yeah, I'm just going to use Fiery Wrath for 120 plus the 10 from Devoured Field, 130. Perfect. Um. <clears throat> We're definitely okay. in sus territory right now, but we are tied four to four prizes. Bro. Evolution incense for. Hmm. Definitely Inteleon. Uh, shady dealings for. I am very concerned at this point because, um, you know, obviously Guzzlord's very good, but it. I don't think the Guzzlord's going to be able to take a knockout on these gigantic guys. Right, right. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, definitely. Okay. Let's see. What's the optimal ball card to grab here? Pokemon Search. It's going to have to be Evo Soda, I believe. So, yeah. So let's just grab... Professor's letter in Evo Soda. Yep. Um, professor's letter for to water. Yeah, Wishy washy, so big. Um, ice dance. Uh, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna sure. Retreat. Evo Soda. Yep. And now you've got the engine all set up. Starmy. Looking good. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to bench White Curum. Yep. I'm going to play Cynthia. Seems good. And then I just need to manually attach and I have it with the Starmie. So that's why I retreated first, obviously, because he's got free retreat. And yep. I think that was probably the best two things to grab. I actually was thinking about trying to get White Curum out, but then I have to, uh, I have to manually attach the fire. But I need to manually attach because I need to retreat. Right. That's where Frostmoth can get a little tricky sometimes. Absolutely right, because you can um, only accelerate to the bench. I also probably would have been better to, you know what? I'm gonna. Is it okay if I ice dance to the Inteleon instead? Yeah, do your thing. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna ice dance to the Inteleon, and use that instead as as my attacker. Sure, that's fine. Um, which is the same thing. Um, and then I'm going to Cynthia. I Cynthia for six cards. Right, it is a guaranteed knockout. Yes. You've already and got the I want to soften up the Guzzlord is the why I, why I did that. Yeah, that actually um, is a pretty solid play, yeah. And then uh, Space Beacon for two water. And I will... Um, <clears throat> Ice Dance. Oof, yep. And... Hmm. What else do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to chill with this hand, and I'm going to Aqua Bullet and do 20 to Guzzlord. Seems good. Because that puts him in range of Hydro Splash, so. Yeah, but I am. Much better turn. Needing a good card here. That is not really it. Yeah, that is not uh, not really going to do it for us. I think this is probably scoop it up territory. I for won me. a game. Oh my goodness. Um I it's do think so. Yep, that's scoop it up territory for Let's me. I don't go. really have anything Let's going on go. here. Ah, uh, Taint Liza. Ah. Yes. GG's game GGs. three. Oh, there's that turn. wishy washy again. Oh dude. yeah. Wishy and pass to you. Yo, am I donking? What are you talking about? You could scatter. And Wait, I'd win. What? Oh, if I yeah. poke you. <laughs> oh, no. Draw. Holy cow. I've never lost like that before. I never <laughs> thought about that. Oh, my goodness. I don't quite have it, but I mean, it's. I'm close. Oh, I'm <laughs> really Lord. close. I don't have. If I had free retreat, I'd have it. You know, a 50% chance of having it anyway. <laughs> right, yeah. Um. Shoo. Okay. So we do have the turn one Gloria, which is very good. So nice. thankful for that. And then. We can use Gloria to go get three non rule box Pokemon. <laughs> They're all non rule box Pokemon. <laughs> so we can get Zubats. We can get. 
Let's see. Is Thievul in the deck? Yes. You could even play Professor Elm's Lecture, and hey, I could have three, like, Bridget. There are, like, five. I mean, you've got Sonya. You've got Elm's Lecture can get three with under 60 hit points. Yeah. You've got, uh, you got Fan Club. You've got, I mean, there's so many now. Which, depending on the deck, I mean, as a water deck, I wouldn't mind that since most of my... I just would have to play, like, the 60 HP Sobble and the... Right. Uh, okay. Let's see, is Zorak in the deck? Come on, Zorak. Be be in the deck, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zorak, <laughs> Zorak in the deck. Okay. All I'll right. All right, all right. So I'm looking at Gloria for that guy. It's just Bridget 2. Gloria is just search for three non rule box Pokemon and put it onto your bench. And it just came out in VMAX Climax, so it's not going to come out for us for a while. Um, it's probably going to come out in Brilliant Stars, but we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, but in Gym Leader Challenge format, you know, Japanese cards are legal. I and mean, we talk about, like, yeah. tournament legality or whatever. But, like, you know, for all intents and purposes, if, like, if you were playing Gym Leader Challenge format with your buddies and there's a card that exists in Japan, play it. Definitely. It, like, why not? You know, yeah. it's a you know what the card does. Play it, <laughs> you know. Fair game, you know. Don't don't wait around and ask me. <laughs> now talk to your tournament organizer sure, if, sure. if there's going to be a tournament or a league. You know, talk to your your local tournament organizer to see like what uh, you know what uh, what the expectations are for any given format. But I think that you know showing off the Japanese cards as soon as they come out is very exciting from a content perspective. So yeah, we're always going to be doing that here. I think I'm gonna grab the hoopa, and then I'm going to attach that bench spear tomb. Use building spite, <sighs> quick ball away field blower. Oh yeah, the gang is here today. Oh man, it's looking like game one. Quick ball away that. And I think the last basic we want to get probably be coughing. And then to top it all off, more we've got ascension. Okay, so we're gonna ascension. Ah, uh, yes. And go get. That's why I really wanted that Zorak to be in the deck. And what's really cool about this play is that now I've got the hiding darkness energy on my Zork, which free means that I got free retreat for the rest of the game, wow. which is absolutely busted. That's epic. Yes, very good for us. All right, draw for turn. Thank goodness it's a card I can play. You know what's a really cool card, though, against that setup is um, this Avery card. Draw three. <laughs> One, Avery. two... Three. True. That's choose two bench Pokemon to discard. <laughs> ah, that stinks. Um, I'm gonna sack. <clears throat> I think. Usually, this is a card you play late game, but if your opponent has, if your opponent goes five wide on turn, turn one, one, then you yeah, know. that's certainly an option. I feel like. All right, who am I realistically going to be going in with next turn? Probably coughing. So. We can, I think, sack. I can probably sack these two and then say I have those two options available to me. I really like keeping the Golbat, though, because this deck draws like doo-doo. So <laughs> Let's get rid of your two consistency, guys. No, we're keeping <laughs> those. Uh, the Weezing's insane. I think we sack... Those. That's fine. All right. Okay. That and hurts, then, though. That uh, really hurts. Let's go with a... Hmm. Awkward hand. Awkward, awkward. Dive ball for... Hmm. All right. Let's take a look at the prizes first. Um... Probably going to be grabbing a Sobble because I need to just get Drizzile to just get out of this hand. Um, but it's kind of rough. Hmm. Got the Starmie. We got the Blastoise line. We 
since it's going to be a slow setup for me, I, again, I don't think I'm going to be going for the Blastoise. I'm probably just going to go, yeah, for the Frostmoth. So... Sometimes I think that I saw Drizzle. Okay, it is in the deck. Drizzle, very important card. And Teleon, also very important card. Hmm. Yeah, let's just grab... Go with the Sobble, and yeah, we're chilling. We'll shuffle. I really wish I at least had an energy to attach to this Wishy Washy so I could threaten the turn three attack, but right. fortunately, do not. So <clears throat> this is going to be a tough game to win for sure. But yeah, just getting off to a little bit of a slower start. It's just how it be sometimes. So we're going to. Bench Snom. We'll bench White Kiram. And we will say, go ahead, sir. Okay. Draw for turn. Mm, all right. <laughs> That's fine. Let's do. Uh, so you got 369 there with the Zork. That's fine. We're going to attach to Coughing. Evolution Incense. Cards in hand? Uh, six. Six. Cool. Going to evolve into Thievel. So we're both going to shuffle our hands. Okay, cool. Put them on the bottom of the deck and draw four oh, cards. It's a Marnie. Okay. Yes. And then we draw four cards. So it's like Marnie, except you, we, we do both do four. Okay, yep, we both cool. do four. And I've only got one card, so it goes to the bottom of my deck. Fine with all those. Going to and the then bottom. four. One, two, three. Four. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> no, don't ascension. <sighs> you already know, dude. Come on. You already know. Let me use my abilities. Just let me use my Drizzile, and then you can... And no then... shot. Yeah, we're going to ascension, and we're going to go get Lame. Galarian Weezing, and it's going to be your turn. All right. Draw. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hmm. Glarian Weezing really knows how to slow things down. Yes, that's for sure. That, that's yeah. Uh, Brooklet Hill. For really brings the game to a screeching halt. It, it really does. And the fact that there's an ascension coughing is so nuts. I mean, I've ascension twice, and it shows yeah. you like look how how deep you have to go. This Zerua is from Legendary Treasures, right? So that was printed uh, eight years ago. Yeah. And, you know, this coughing's new. And then there's a Paralyzed one, too, isn't exactly. there? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like, that one was like $10 at one point. <laughs> right. So picking the rights, uh, picking the rights pre-evolutions is like also a fun little activity. You get to scroll through all of the, you know, all of the different Zeruas that have ever existed and find the right one. What's up? Year go. Okay. Ooh, we do have quite an exhilarating situation on our hands, don't we? Okay, I'm going to severe poison. Okay. Yeah, I. You know what? I mean, we're both rocking and rolling over here, uh, except you Just know. Give me an energy game. Come <laughs> on. I shouldn't have shuffled my deck with Brooklet. Now those cards I don't want are back in the deck. That was a misplay. Uh, no, it wasn't a misplay. But Brooklet Hill. And because you're thinning it away, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, Brooklet, Brooklet, Brooklet. All right, what do I want my fifth bench Pokemon to be? I'm just going to go ahead and fully power up your Zorark here. Yup. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Desperate times. Where's Squirtle at? Squirtle, come here. There you go. Get out there of here, Squirtle. Is. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and pass to you. Okay. Take 40 more, so you're at sure. 60. Sure, sure. Or 80. 80, yep. Math is hard. Ooh, baby, let's go. I don't, man, dude. All right, fine. <laughs> you know, when you get Cynthia and Caitlin, you're like, ooh, what goodies do I have over what here? Goodies, uh, Gloria. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have a supporter to put back in his hand. Um, I feel so bad for him. Cynthia and Caitlin, and I am going to discard. 
I'm going to discard. No, that card's good. I'm going to discard Muscle Band. That hurts, but... Got to draw some cards. I have to draw some cards. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, very good. And we're going to get... I'm getting the Gloria back. Oh, yeah? Go for it. Oh, yeah. And then... I will town map, which is great. Sure. Let's see what I have over here. Cool. Town map is a card I wish I could just play in all my decks, just because it's so nice. Just to be dark able to. draws so bad that you like have to. Yeah, you're right. Because now, now I'm playing on like hacker mode, which is yeah. which is incredibly based. And then we're going to Release commit the dark to the Zorark and. Just let you rot here for a little let longer. Let me rot? Oh, my word. It sounds so bad. All right. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, guess what I got? Rare Candy Blastoise, baby. All right. Woo. That's pretty exciting. But You're going to boss up my Blastoise and knock it out. That's uh, okay. Um, hmm. I got a Splash Energy. Where do I want to put it? Oh. I'll put it right here. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Wishy-washy's going down. At least it's not getting knocked out into your turn. I have that going for me. That'd be bad. Uh, I'm going to Evo Soda. Yep. I might as well. I mean... Um, another card I've really considered in this deck is just Escape Rope, because I just think it's just really good in general. Escape rope is so good. Get out yeah. of stuff like that. Like for it was not really for the Galarian Weezing, although it would be nice, obviously. But it's for a Wobbuffet against Psychic because that's another and yeah. really really annoying card that Water has to deal with a lot. Absolutely, it's the Wobbuffet. Right. Um, we just kind of like gotta hope you have it in your hand when you need it, which is kind of unfortunate this is true because you can't just search for it. Same reason why Field Blower for Garbotoxin. Right. Um, you can't find it when you need it. But I'm gonna pass. Cool. So you're at 160. Yep. Draw for turn. And I'm going to use Gloria again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Um, yeah, again to go get uh, literally just the Guzzlord. You discarded my other basics <laughs> with, yes. the, with your Avery. The one so. good thing I did this game so far. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Guzzlord hitting the bench is meaningful. And... When that wishy-washy gets knocked out, I will be able to grab the twin if I want it. So I think that that's probably going to be the play. Yep. Severe poison. Oh, you're already poisoned. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Take the twin. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> what to do? What to do? All right, Snom, get in there. Uh, draw. Um, Druckelet Hill. I mean, Weezing is so good against so many decks. It's yeah. really good against the setup decks. It's not as good against decks like that. Uh, that just play off the board. It's not very good against Dragon. <laughs> it's, yeah, right. It's not very good against uh, Dark. It's not very good against uh, fighting. Obviously, it's weak to fighting, but yeah. like also fighting just doesn't play abilities. So Weezing is one of those cards that it's just like an equalizer, right? It's one of the cards that makes it so that the ability decks are not just the most broken decks. Right. Because it it is uh, a card that is slower and not as strong against non-ability decks, but it can just put those... It can put those ability decks into check Saying like, oh, you thought you were gonna set up this like hmm. insane, you know, majestic pile of Pokemon here yeah. that was just gonna start whizzing through, but like, oh, what if I said forty damage at a time here? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um pretty sure I attached splash last turn, so I'm going to you attach did. Yeah. water here and pass. Okay. And the nice thing about that compared to Wabafet is you can actually just keep taking knockouts until I deal with it, which is like Yes. Cra pretty crazy. <laughs> yes, right. Wobbuffet. Easier really... to get out, but... Yep. Easier yeah. to get out, but not as much pressure. Yeah. I'm going to put the twin energy onto the Guzzlord, and then... 
I think that. Hmm. Two cards in hand. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. And bring out the Blastoise. Yeah. And As I was considering not benching, <laughs> but like I feel like like I just I don't know. Oh, and okay, he's yeah, poisoned. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right, draw. Right. I mean, because I could, you know, I could mind jack it, but you know, I'm almost like, why would I do that if I could just let you sit here? Go ahead. <laughs> this is really fun, guys. Draw. Are you having fun yet? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Attach the dark energy. I've got an N. I just, you know, I couldn't see playing it. Nah, yeah. nah. <laughs> I, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right, I'll pass to you. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, 120. Yeah, 120. And then if you don't have a switch, you do. Ah, right, what's up, Gloria? Um, Get KO'd coming back into my turn, right? Pass. Yep, there Bye we go. And yeah, now okay. I would like Guzma. Yeah. Uh, never wanted to scoop so much in my life. <laughs> hmm. I can't put up Sanam because now it's my only rain dancer. Uh, Wailord, you can take some hits, right? Yeah, yeah. you can take some hits. Go ahead, Wailord. Okay, draw. Guzzlord. There's literally nothing I can do against this. Guzma up Sanam. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Yeah, and I'm just going <laughs> to red bank with it for two prizes. Really? I thought you were going to manually retreat and keep the wheezing in place. Nah, okay. nah, nah. At this point, I'm ready to roll. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're looking you're looking like you're in a pretty good spot right now. On the upside, I have my abilities. Let's go. <laughs> Turn up, Chad. Let's go. <laughs> Turn up. All right. Shady dealings for... Um. Professor's letter. So I can go get my fire energy. Fire and water. Um actually I think I'll just get the fire because I want I keep my hands small for abyssal. Yep. <clears throat> so White Kiram, you're gonna have to like do some work here, my guy. Yeah, um, I mean, he's knocking out the Guzzlord. He might be able to take, like, maybe two prizes, but that's right. about it. Attach. I do not want a Brooklet. I'm going to Abyssal Hand for two cards. I would like a Super Rod, please. That's not a Super Rod. Um, Freezing Flames for 160. Boom. Okay, there he goes. Jesse on the board with his first Let's prize. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, Zorx got free retreat because the hiding darkness energy draw for turn. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, we've got. Let's see, you've three bench Pokemon right now, so I can teammates. Yep. I'm gonna teammates for. So with Mind Jack, I am doing the dark. You need the dark thing and the uh, devoured field. Oh my word gonna do it <laughs> he's gonna do devoured it devoured field dark claw yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah what would be sick is if you had like a target whistle or something and to power up your damage there we go yeah. counter your stadium right. yep, yep. and we have got zork who is hitting for base 100 but so much for playing around that Yes. <laughs> so much for playing around. So <laughs> much. All right. Yes, uh, but with all the extra goodies we've got, we can bench Sneasel and then burn the nest ball out of my deck. And that seems fine. Never give up, Chet. Never, never give, surrender. Never give up. Dark patch. I honestly learned a huge lesson from the 1K to On never to give up. the Sneasel. I thought it was literally impossible for me Mind to Jack. lose my game against Azul, and I did lose. So <laughs> I've like learned a big lesson to never ever give up from that game. Right. Yes. Um, let's see. Yeah, Waylord. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not really much I can do with having no way of getting my Rain Dancers back into my deck because I'm gonna need that to be able to attack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. There we go. Won that. Very yes. Cl very cleanly. 
Yeah, that was just oh, a wheezing and yeah, sweet, man. That wheezing is like a real killer. Like that really, like I I thought psychic was the only that guy I had to worry about that happening was having abilities locked for the most part. I know that colorless has one too, but it's kind of harder for them to get out. But it is, yeah. I kind of forgot about the clearing wheezing in the dark deck. Like that's that's very tough to deal with if they can get that out early. So uh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I think that when Dark gets the, uh, I think that when Dark gets that lie part uh, that has trade, I, yeah, that's crazy. I think That'd that be crazy. Dark is going to be one of the types to beat. Yeah. in Gym Leader Challenge format, if not already. I mean, I know Robin. I think Robin Schulz won like a Gym Leader Challenge tournament online with a Dark deck once. Okay. Yeah, I think he played in one and won with Dark once. He played. Um, you know, Dark has got some definitely got some legs it's got some tricks it's got some of the strongest attackers in the game it's got ability lock it just doesn't really have the onboard draw support but if you could play you get that, you're um be... you know you got hoopa as a fast attacker you've got the damage mods you know we saw i just gave that guy plus 30 at the yeah. end of the you know plus 30 <laughs> i mean that's like lightning level damage mods right uh, with like electro power, you've got the muscle band and the dark claw. I don't even play Cape of Toughness or or Fury Belt in this list because muscle band and dark claw are just better. You're, you're just, just yeah. aggro. You just are taking the you know you're just taking the knockouts with these guys, which are technically two different cards. It's hilarious because dark claw released in Dark Explorers, you would literally never play this card in any situation ever. Yeah, not expanded, not. You know, found its home. Yes, found its home. We are we're back. This card was good when it was released, but then immediately outclassed. Not immediately, but eventually outclassed by Muscle Band, which is just strictly better right. from uh, you know from X and Y. But now these two get to live in harmony. So I think that uh, I think the Dark type Pokemon have a bright future. And what's cool is that you know Dark, um, you know Dark is is weak to fighting, which is an We'll call it an up-and-coming type. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Fighting. And that's it for today's Gym Leader Challenge Battle. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. And y'all have a busted day. Peace.